So here's Jeff scraping bindings. This is going to take a long time, especially around the F hole, because the the plastic strip is only about thirty thousandths of an inch wide, maybe forty. So have to proceed very carefully. Poor Jeff. He drew the short straw. Yeah, he sure He's did. been scraping bindings since 9.15. Poor man. He's like, I really need to go home. I'm sure I have some other things to do at my own house. Okay, the bindings have been scraped down. Um, after doing all the scraping, there were some scratches in the, the yellow tint that we had put on. So rather than trying to reapply it with a brush or a Q-tip, I just uh, sprayed some yellow tinted lacquer and the match turned out pretty good. The, the color difference between the new binding and the original binding is almost imperceptible. And so now it's time for multiple coats of clear lacquer just to, to build up enough finish that we can sand it level and buff it to a high shine. It'll probably take me about four days of spraying a little bit each day. I don't want to spray too much at once or the lacquer tends to, to not dry very quickly. Um, but if I do a little bit on separate days, it'll dry a little faster. Alright, the lacquer's been curing for several weeks, so now it's time to start leveling it. Okay, the guitar's been sanded up to a thousand grit everywhere, and you can see the lacquer looks quite dull. So now the next step is to start buffing out all of the, the scratchiness in the lacquer using the the coarse and the fine buffing wheels. So that's what's happening next. Go to it, Jeff. <laughs> Okie dokie.